That's why we got to be careful that we marry folks that love us for our image and not our outer. Because if you marry me for my inner, whatever takes place on my outer, we still going to be in love because that's not the quality that attracted me. Oh, God, I feel good now. Yeah, 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 you want somebody nice looking and you want somebody kind, but I'd rather have somebody with a good mind and a good spirit than a bad shape. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And a nasty attitude. Come on, come on. Come on. So my wife, watch this, my wife had, one time when she hadn't had nanny, she got back up to her 18, and she really had a clock room with it. She was, you don't love me no more. I said, why are you talking crazy? My hips, look at that. And my butt, I'm a big badonka. And look at all that there. I, 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 said, ah! I said, I told you I was in this thing when you was a nine, I was in it. You were 18, I'm in it. If you happy with it, I'm happy with it. I love you. I don't understand that. Well, get a revelation. Some folks just really love you. I'm not interested in no way. So now she's eating her. Look what she did. Now she eating all of this healthy stuff. She done drop back down to about a 10 or 12. She, just, she, she got this in her mind that in her uh, older age, she want to get tougher. So, I mean, she doing the thing. She doing the makeover. And she working hard on that. And then she look at me. She said, hi. Hi, little baby. I said, like you were when I first met you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. But, but, but that's not what I was desiring. Yeah. But if it makes her happy, yeah. that's what I want for her. Yes. See, see, love is unselfish. Yeah. Love is not about what I want. It's about what she wants. Yeah. Whatever makes her happy, baby, it makes me a yeah. So the happy woman is a happy home. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. So, right. so I'm headed home. Because I got to show you this here. And this is what I need you to grab a hold to. That's why God, God said you're going to rebound. Because we find out in verse number 9 in Jesus that, that the same folks who dog Jeff God. God created a situation where they had to come back to. Look at your neighbor and say somebody going to have to come back and say they sorry. Oh God, they might have sent you to the curb, but they're going to have to come back and say they sorry. They might have used you and took advantage of you, but they're going to have to come back and say they sorry. They might have dropped you for somebody else that was very valuable than you, but they're going to have to come back and say they sorry. Y'all not hear what I say. God created a circumstance where they had need of Jephthah, but Jephthah was absent. Yes. What do you do yes. when the person you need oh is no longer accessible? Oh 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 now you have to backtrack. Ooh. You have to look back at what you had. Yeah. And you have to identify what was working in you. Mm -hmm. They realized that the enemy was using them because they were jealous of that brother. Yes. Yes. Mm. That's right. Because they knew who he was. But they use where he came from to discredit you. They knew he was stronger than them. They knew he was mighty. You know how boys play around. I could visualize them. Uh, I have this creative imagination. I could visualize them playing and wrestling in the yard. And he would always throw all of them. So they knew he was the toughest. But now when war came to their house. And none of them were warriors. See, God allowed the enemy to come in. Since you don't allow the enemy to operate in you, I'm going to allow the enemy to come in. That's right. All right. Now, they're afraid because they don't have a fighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they go back and find him. All right. And they call themselves apologizing, but he got an attitude now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, why have y'all come to me now? Seeing that y'all threw me out. They won't have nothing to do with me. I'm your own brother. You treat me like a dog. What you want? They said, we need you. He said, no. Y'all shady and I'm not dealing with you. He said, we really need you. The enemy to come in and we need you to be our captain. He said, if you, if you serious, if I go back with you, you promise you're going to make me the head and no longer the tail. Y'all got my head. Look at your neighbor so I'm getting ready to trade places. See, God got a way of taking the one who on the bottom and putting them on the top. God got a way of blessing the one that 
that you thought needed you. God got a way of turning stuff around. What the enemy meant for your heart, God got a way of turning that thing around for your good. And the one you thought you need now, they have need of you. I need to tell you in here, that some folk that have been disloyal and have not been trustworthy and have handled you wrong, but God said, I'm getting ready to turn it over now. Somebody said, God getting ready to turn it over. Yeah, you talked about me, you talked smart to me, but you're going to need me now. You're going to need me because God God has put me in a position to where I'm the dominator. God has put me in a position to where I'm in control. I know what it is to suffer. I know what it is to experience pain. I know what it is to experience hardship. But I'm getting ready to experience joy now. I'm getting ready for somebody to look up to me. Y'all been looking down at me. I'm not down there no more. I'm down now. Is there anybody in here that is my neighbor? That the day is a good day to get up. Close your eyes. Don't look at nobody. Don't look at nobody. 